Okay, board game fans. It's been a while since I... This is Matt, and it's been a while since I have uh, gone back to Elder Sign to do our last... Uh, our last... I gotta... Mm -mm -mm, turn that down in my ears, because the volume is super loud. I have adjusted OBS, so you're not hearing it nearly as loud as I am. Um, okay. Main menu. We are ready to take on the Dark Pharaoh. Even though we failed almost all the other challenges, and this is the very hard top level one. The Avatar of <sighs> Nyarlathotep. Something like that. So we need to get 11 omens, and he needs only to get 9 doom to win. It's a three part campaign, though. Um, I have tried this one before. Um, I think that the whole first stage is just us trying to gather stuff to take with us for the second and third parts. And the second and third parts are similar to what the Cthulhu one was. Um, we have to reveal some relic things that will weaken him in the big battle at the end, but we still need to accomplish the different stuff, blah, blah, blah. We'll go through it as we go through. I'm going to do this the same way we always have. I'm going to do a random selection of starting um, uh, investigators, and then I'll tweak it. We've had almost, well, we haven't had almost all of them, I guess. There's still a lot of these we haven't had. Um, um, so I'm probably, I might just go through and, let's see, are we doing this guy? Are we doing this guy? Because... There's a lot of them we have not had yet. And I think we've had all these guys. After using a clue token, he may conjure a glyph the second time for free. I don't know, maybe we haven't had Joe. Or if I did, he was one of the early ones. Diana we've had before. I'm going to swap her out. Uh, Rex is a decent. He's a good way of gaining clues, but he he only gets that when he's helping or when he's at a, the same location as another investigator. So it's not fabulous. She recovers all of her sanity when she uses a spell. When he succeeds in an adventure with another investigator, he gains two trophies. Oh, these guys could do well together paired up thing. Um, she's got to go. Okay, Jim Culver. Jim may focus or assist even after complete that. We've had him before. And Monterey Jack, whenever he gains one or more unique item, he receives a second. I don't think we've had Monterey Jack. Or, again, if we had, it was fairly early on, so I'm going to put him, keep him. I don't know. I might take one of these guys. I don't think I need both of them. What else do we got? Tony Morgan receives an extra trophy when he defeats a monster. Lola Hayes has improv. She can spend trophies to refresh a green glyph that was discarded. Mm, that's kind of interesting, but She can change the Mythos effect. It doesn't necessarily make it better for us, though. Wilson can turn a yellow glyph, glyph into the result of his choice, but of course he, that only works if he has yellow glyphs, but that looks all right. We'll take him. Um, oh yeah, and uh, Mark Harrigan. He can complete tasks in any order. All right, I want to put Harrigan first. finish with Joe Diamond. All dudes. I wanted to do um, Daryl Simmons, the reporter. I can add a result. His is dealing with those gl the, the investigation, which are the little uh, magnifying glasses. Um, Completing in any 
order or completing any number during her turn. I'm going to take her over him. Okay, that's our team. On to Cairo. And I think this one also has a unique intro, so I'm going to let it play out. My fellow passengers on the train from Port Said to Cairo made for pleasant company, but as we neared our destination, I began to long for a private cabin. Once more, I carefully opened the box in my hand, revealing the priceless artifact contained within, the shiny trapeze of Hebrew. It was still safe, despite my growing sense of paranoia. My friend, the renowned Egyptologist Dr. Charles Fratley, had contacted me at the museum in Arkham, where the trapezohedron had been recently placed. Pratley claimed that this artifact was the key to unlocking an undiscovered tomb of great historical significance, and that I should bring the trapezohedron to Cairo with all deliberate haste and secrecy. Okay. Cairo. Dr. Prattley, the renowned Egyptologist, will meet you in Cairo in two days. So we have two full days to prep. Um, remember, uh, every four turns we hit midnight, and then the, a second four turns would be the second full day, I believe. Um, you, can re you can use your time to gather allies at adventures marked with the ally icon. Investigators can spend trophies to activate allies' unique abilities. So we need to get trophies, which is are like our points, um, in order to activate. And of course, we start with zero trophies. Okay, Amanda starts off with the, ooh, two of them. Both of these summon a, both a yellow and a red glyph, which are extra dice, of course, um, and better dice than the base ones. Um, Monterey Jacks got two red and one yellow. Uh, Wilson's got two yellow dice. And, ooh, Joe doesn't have any, but he needs clue tokens, really, to... He needs these, as many of these as he can get, because he can get some free conjurations, not just, the, not just for using the clue, but get any additional ones. So his is all about gaining clue tokens, if possible. So this is the location of an ally. Okay, we should go through this again. Okay, at the Cairo Hotel, we got our standard um, healing spot where you can spend... Oh, no, no. This is a little different. For spending zero, you can max out your um, sanity or stamina or pay two to get both, or to heal both of them. So that's different than the normal one, but... This is kind of a desperation thing. We shouldn't be taking this much damage this early, but we'll see. There's your spin. Same one as normal. Um, chance that you're going to lose some, some stuff, but otherwise it's a gain. But hardly ever use that unless you just have nowhere else to go. Shopping to spend and purchase items. So you can spend your hard-earned trophies to get two clues. Two, or two of them to get two yellow dice, which are two... Uh, common items or two for two spell items so it's pretty good decent you know exchange for those um oh it looks like we need to oh these are our followers up here so dr pratt lee yeah gather allies and equipment so it looks like we have space for a couple of allies and he's going to meet us in two days okay now, as far as the individual locations, here's one where we have to do them in a certain order. We have to complete this, then this, then this. Um, right now, that's not too tough. It gets us a bunch of uh, common and unique items, but it's kind of high risk. Uh, sour, what's that one called? Night job. Scour the earth. Again, these are pretty easy. Not great return, though. Oh, it's also worth two trophies. One trophy. Image of Nefren Ka. This is a little more challenging. It needs some specific faces. Um, if we fail, it's going to put a, a monster in play as well as take a sanity loss. Not great prizes either. Okay, this is one we need to get rid of because at midnight, everybody is going to lose a sanity and a stamina. 
Not too tough to beat this. We don't want any monsters put on here. If we fail this, though, we add a doom to the clock. But success, you know, we get a common item. But three trophies. So somebody that's looking for trophies should really shoot, shoot for this. Scry the future. Okay, so if we succeed, we gain an ally. Or spend two trophies to lock a glyph. Not a great ability, in my opinion, but... Because all that is is... Uh, not exactly... Not exactly sure how that works. If that's just holding on to one, that seems to be kind of a mm, not too easy, not too hard to beat it. And we get a clue token, so if somebody needs clue tokens, should probably take this one on. Because oh, then again, this one's need get two clue tokens and four trophies. It's a little bit of a challenge, but yeah, private party. Okay, so what do we don't have? Well. None of those gave us uh, omen counters, which kind of makes sense. There's also not a lot of doom being flung at us, so we won't lose the game here, but we're probably, we're not doing really a whole lot to help us win the game here. We're just trying to get those two, we, we, we need to get those two um, followers at least. I think that's all we can hold. And there'll be opportunities to get other ones later, and if we get one, we'll have to choose whether we want to replace one of the ones we have or kick the one we just acquired. So there's certain limitations to our followers. It's not like we get a follower for each of our people. Winning a follower, it makes them available for all of us if we are playing this in multiplayer. Of course, I'm controlling all four of these guys, so... Um, okay, now she is all about doing any number of tasks in her turn. She's got. All right. So she's gonna go ahead and try this one. Well, if she can get them all, complete the whole thing in her first, uh, you know, roll of the dice. Really, that could be three dice. I don't really want to throw in one of her abilities because I don't thing is, you know my luck, what happens if I don't roll the scrolls, that would suck, you know, I'm going to give it a good a chuck and see, and if not, I'll throw in the, the dice in the second round, okay, so this is alright, bam, and bam, now all we need is a single scroll, there we go, glad I didn't use the dice, because she's going to store them up, so we got our follower, got a clue, Got a couple of trophies. Okay, what do we got there? Okay, so whenever he rolls a terror die trying to beat this, a monster appears. So that's something we don't want to have to deal with. Um, we'll gear up for that, but I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, we got this. We got to deal with this. And his ability again is, whenever he gains one or more unique items, he receives an extra unique item. So what he's looking for are those daggers in the prize section. See, that's a common item. We don't want that. That's the one he wants to do. Ugh. What else? This one would also be good too. This gets us a lot of stuff. And he's got extra dice already. So here we go. He wants to take on the big challenge. Night job. Monterey Jack in the night job. He's going to roll his extra dice. Get a skull. Get two skulls. Oh, this is too easy. I probably wasted my dice, but he's going to get a ton of dice here. Look at that. got enough to take on the biggest challenges of this game. Alright, there's another follower. I'm not real happy with our first follower. It's, I don't like having to spend something to do something. Okay, spend two trophies to heal. Two points of sanity and stamina. Well, we don't have anybody else in, that does healing, so I guess that's not too bad. Um, that's not too bad. Okay, what has he got? 
he can turn a yellow glyph into the result of his choice. And he's got a couple of yellows. So he wants to get more, um, I believe common items gets him some yellow dice. It's a high percentage chance. So we're looking for something with a gun prize. That's a gun prize. That's a good one to do so we don't lose our sanity. Okay. Eventide Surveillance. Okay, can we beat this? We didn't get a skull. But he can use his ability to turn that yellow die into the skull. to do. Just a steady supply of yellows and he can be a pinpoint defeater of opponents. Okay, this is the last turn of day one. And he's all about getting clues. He needs more clues. And I know somebody out here with a double that one. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. He doesn't have any extra dice. Boop. Boop. Okay, now he's got three. A lot of... Uh, that's part of the reason why these different challenges are rewarding us with so many trophies, is because we need to spend trophies to use the uh, followers' abilities. He arrives tomorrow and will lead your party to the desert. Collect allies and equipment until he arrives. See? We're just trying to get stuff. We want to get everybody so they're stacked up with stuff. Um, she needs more stuff. Jack needs to go after. So he needs common items. He needs clues, which leaves her. So that's for the. That's the common items. That's unique items. I really don't want to take this one on because I don't want to add any monsters out there. We do need to get this follower. Um. Yeah. We'll just take him on. Mender of Flesh. And again, I don't think she needs to roll anything until I'm convinced that this is, like, desperate. Uh, three and a scroll. And got it. She's not getting any items, unfortunately. Uh-oh. Okay, we got another... Uh, Midnight effect. We gotta get get that gone. What is it? <sighs> Plus one doom at midnight. That's on top of the regular midnight effect, of course. If you've watched any of my previous videos of this series, every four turns we have a midnight effect. We were lucky last night. All we did was get a reminder. I think tonight all, all that happens is he shows up. So you know we don't want this to happen. Remember, the, uh, what is it, seven? I think it's only like seven points. I mean, we don't want to add any doom. So that's that's too bad. Cause these guys all had pr pretty much stuff they wanted to go after. Okay, so he's looking for more, more daggers. Which either means taking that one on or that one. This one comes with very little downside, so I'm going to go with this. The Dark Heart of Cairo. Um, oh, that one gets a clue.
stuff out of the way. Alright, well we need a skull. And a chew. Okay. Oh yeah, he's got good stuff. And that destroys a monster. He's set up. He is definitely ready to go. We got two followers. Let's check a look at the loot. Oh, there's another chance for a follower. What do we got here? Spend two trophies to gain a yellow glyph. I like that a lot better than her ability. Yeah, because all that is is storing a glyph, and I don't like that ability. Okay, and that gets a unique item. And he is looking for yellow glyph, so he wants the common items. Mm. That's a common item, so I gotta take this one. Again, that's a pretty easy challenge. I don't really want to use any glyphs. I just want to beat it. But that's kind of what these are designed for, too. That's why these aren't, aren't like really, really hard. We're supposed to be gathering equipment, not burning through it. is gone. Joe doesn't really have a choice, but that's fine. This is the least um, item specific thing in this in this era. This era. I was looking at this bygone era. Yeah. We want that ally. He's our Belloc. He's got the he's got the little fez, although he does have a long ponytail. I'm not sure about that. Oh, uh, well, I got re-rolls. Hey, yoinky yoink. Wow, look at that roll. Yeah, we're going to have to use... I can't risk throwing a die away here. can't throw a die away. It'll, it'll, it'll be too hard to get three twos or a th two threes. I need to take advantage of, of the situation with four dice. Uh, we need this guy. There we go. That's five. Oh, still not enough. Yay! Worked. Cost us a little bit, but we got a new follower, and we're going to replace her. <laughs> um, yes. That's a strange way to do that, but yes. Pick the two that you want, and then it automatically eliminates the other. Okay. Midnight. Do we have another day, or is this it? He's arrived at Cairo and is anxious to depart on your journey. No doom effect. Okay, so that's part one. Ready arrived at the shed and was desperate to glimpse the artifact I carried with me. The sight of the piece of Hedron threw the doctor into such a state of excitement that it bored on his steel. The jewel, he explained, would serve as a key to the inner sanctum of a tomb located somewhere in Dalshur, about 40 kilometers south of Cairo. According to legend, the pharaoh left in a car was buried there over 4,000 years ago. Bradley is convinced that his research will lead us to the hidden tomb, where a wealth of knowledge and riches lie waiting for the one who holds the shining trapeze of Hebrew. Okay. New location. Road to the shore. A lingering effect. There's no common items may be used today. Okay. Lingering 
effects limit your usable inventory. The effect will change every midnight. So today it's no common items, tomorrow it'll be something else. Collect a total of six Elder Signs, which is our uh, omen symbols, um, to locate the hidden entrance. So that's what we're trying to do. We're, we need to get those six without just, you know, without uh, losing the game, basically. Alright, we'll take a look at our stuff. Okay, so there's the standard one. That's That looks like the normal one. Zero, three, and five. Um, excavation, that's the same as normally is. These are different than the... Well, I think they're a little different than the first one. But. And we can buy trophies. Much worse exchange rate this time, but... Okay. Okay, so this is locking a yellow glyph. We need to beat this as soon as possible. Whoever does it, though, is going to take some health and say, or some stamina and sanity loss. It's probably going to be her because she can do this all at once. Red glyphs are locked here. <laughs> Jeez, this sucks. Okay, so we got glyphs locked up our bazoos. That gets two clues. So the fourth guy, whatever his name was, the that's where he wants to go. There's one of our omen symbols to get so this is like a targeted one we really need to complete that and this one is too and that's going to be tough these are not going to be easy to beat with our uh, without our extra uh, dice and so that means we have to focus on getting these yellow and green or yellow and reds back see she won't be able to use those at all but she does have a reroll okay well she's going to take on this one she's got a good health stamina five and five or stamina and sanity two three and three okay yellows are unlocked not that it matters because we can't use common items today anyway Oh great, now we have a midnight effect. At midnight a monster appears. As bad things go, that's not so bad. Okay, so he can't use the yellows because they're common items, and he can't use the reds because they're still locked. He's looking for daggers. Just go ahead and take this one on, see how he fares. Can't use anything. He does have a clue, so he can re-roll once. And we still have... He could gain a yellow glyph. So if he absolutely had to, he could do that. Again, we don't really want to use up our trophies now. We want to save these up. Four specific dice on six dice. That's kind of tricky. Okay, increase our odds a little bit. Yeah, we can look at that roll. Oof. We didn't get a scroll, so that's good. Okay, so now we need two terror glyphs or tentacles. Got one. Got one. Could re-roll, but still like my odds here. Let's store that one. Roll again. Okay, now now we're talking a little bit of a... If I'm going to use a reroll token, I want to make sure I use it. We still have a handful of dice. Still didn't get it. Crap. Alright, so much for that reroll. Dang it! Crap! I forgot about that stupid doom. Oh, mercy. work on 
this one. It's just too sanity if he fails. But again, he's at 5-5, five five, so let's, as long as he's not deficient. And he's got a monster to face again. Great. No tentacles. Great. Absolutely great. this to turn this. Oh, see? The yellow dice don't have tentacles on it. Oh, that was a waste then. It has a one. It has probably, I think, two ones maybe. Either two ones or two twos and a three and a scroll and a skull. It doesn't even have... Oh, no, it has a four on one side. Okay. So it has one, two, three, four, a skull, and a. That's why I was. That's why I threw it away the last time because I didn't think it had a uh, tentacle on it. Ah, oh, great! So we wasted two trophies for nothing. All right, well, I'm gonna throw it away because it's not even on that stupid die. Okay. Ideally, even if we get one, at least I can store one. one. Lucky luck. Come on, baby. Got a second one. But that's not going to help us any. Can't store a second one. <coughs> Too bad. So, then there's a third one. It doesn't matter. Great. Sanity loss. Joe, you gotta unlock it now. You gotta reroll. Mm, that's used to gain, so that's not anybody, that's him. Okay, about the monster. We gotta get this red glyph lock. We have too many people that use red glyphs. At least there's another person there. It does have one reroll. I'm not gonna waste my stupid things on him again. Although, if he does get a scroll, it would be helpful. It wouldn't use the extra... Um, ideally, if this comes up a scroll, that's what we want. So then it doesn't take a, a die away from this challenge. Oh, we got two of them. Okay. Okay, this is the best odds we've had so far on this. Get a scroll there, that's good too. There we go. There's a scroll. That was good. Okay, so we broke, it doesn't even matter what he got out of that. We broke that stupid red lockout. <coughs> okay, midnight. Doom plus one, and a monster, but no lingering effect today, so we won't have anything locked. But, another monster appears, so our challenges are getting up there. Okay, we gotta get our, our, uh, our omen counters, because this, this, this is not good. Not good at all. Oh my god, that's got another red lock out. I didn't even realize that. Jeez. Oh, it was a monster. The monster that was added brought that. That's why it wasn't on there before. Crap. <gasps> oh no! I didn't see the three stamina loss. She's dead. Oh no. She lost all of her stuff. Oh god. Why were you rushing? 
Oh, well, it just became a lot harder, guys. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Get these stupid midnight effects out of here. Oh, crap. Here's the thing, yellow dice doesn't have tentacles, so that's not going to be helpful, but it does have a scroll. Still. <sighs> Shoot. It's got no rerolls. He didn't start losing it from some other ability. Oh, we got another follower opportunity here. What's he got? Gain, um, gain an ally. Spend two trophies to kill a monster. Well, I think these guys are better. Spend two to gain, <coughs> gain two sanity and stamina. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to do that before long. And his ability to get the, uh, um, yellow dye, I think, is that's. If, uh, I'd replace it with a red dye. If there was somebody that generated a red dye, I'd replace it. But this guy's not somebody that we need. And there's no other rewards for this, so screw that one. Okay. Wilson may turn a yellow dye into any result of his choice. So let's see. Let's go here. I need some specific dice. He's going to go ahead and roll a yellow and a red. scroll and really anything yeah you know. got it oh man uh oh midnight effect at midnight all investigators lose a trophy well that sucks failure also means we lose a follower that really sucks Cannot afford to fail this one. Um, doesn't need the plus one stamina. Let's get the red die. And he does have one clue token as a reroll and one die as a storage. Which he probably will need since these are all specific things. Wow. Oh, I can't believe we didn't get a skull. Not a single one. So far, so good, good, good. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Perfect. Voila! Oh. Well, the people that are alive are doing great. I just feel really bad about losing a really good character because I was an idiot. Because she could have healed up. She could have healed up using her, her two, two trophy thing. If she had enough trophies. Plus one doom. Yuck. Each investigator loses random items. That really sucks. And no common items can be used today. Fabulous. Well, can't do anything about our doom effects. these people are being affected by stuff. Why, where is... Oh, because he's over there, I guess. Alright. He's going to get two turns this cycle. The 
for the Mixed Doom effect. He's the one with all the red dice. Which is great because the yellow ones are the ones he can't use. Does he have any healing effect of his own? No. So he doesn't want to take two stamina or two uh, We have the ally gaining thing up here for this location, but I don't get the... What's this? Adventures will occur and affect all investigators. Yes, I know that, but what is the specific effect? At midnight, you advance the clock. Oh, so we're going to lose time. It's going to burn an extra hour of time. Ugh. Well, now we got to face this idiot. some specific stuff. That's all we can do. Wow, I don't want to use that right out the gate. I can use that though. Bam! Killed the monster. Wow, well, I'm going to use it. The skull and a two. Skull and a two. Skull and a two. There we go. Oh, that's my scroll. Oh, idiot. Got no re rolls. God dang it. Now I need to have the specific freaking thing. It's not too overwhelmingly powerful. No, it doesn't have an effect anyway. Yeah, that one's not really an effect. This one's got no effect. Same monster. That one's a terror effect. We need to beat that though, because that gets us a thing. What do we got here? Oh, he doesn't even have any items. So he, uh, he needs to get some yellow items, even though he can't use them right now. He won't be able to beat that without any extra dice. That one would be very hard. Uh, I don't know, not terribly hard to beat. That one would be very hard. That needs five specific dice on six, uh, six for all. Wow! There are no common items out here at all. How many trophies does he have? Five. What do we got? to whatever he needs, which I guess we gotta use it right now. Um, I can either uh, that doesn't do any good. We don't have a scroll. Well, it would have been great if a scroll had come up because I could turn this to a four. That would save us a die instead of having to do a three and a one here and using this as a scroll. But it is what it is. This sucks. We need two specific dice on a four roll. Well, there's one. Now we need a terror symbol. Hey, we got it. Oof. It opened up a portal. Otherworld.
dice, but it's got rerolls. Got the tentacle, got the skull. Yeah, we got this. Oh, sweetie, sweet. That was good. Got us another point. To four. What do we need? Six. To get to this through this cycle. I think it was six. Okay, his second turn of this cycle. He's got all these red glyphs, as well as the yellow one, but he can't use the yellow one. We don't need that. We need this. He's going to lose two sanity if he fails. Crap. He won't die. He only has three sanity, so. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and use another red glyph. Still going to be a pretty tough challenge. Scroll into two. And we had it, too. Okay, we got this. Didn't even need to use my wild. There's five. Stage two, having lost my one of our investigators, plus one doom, we're up to four doom. Okay, we got to take advantage of this. No dice penalties today. Um, he's got nothing. He needs a yellow glyph. He needs a gun. That's a gun there. The only one. Desert Caravan. Okay. This is actually not a bad challenge. Ugh! All numbers. That's no good. He's got four. No, 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 no. I thought that was the dice one. Oh, shoot. Now I could do the die. Quartz. Great. So now he's got one. No, he's got none. He used up all of his stupid trophies. Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't even need it. Besides, you never know, the midnight effect might be everybody lose two trophies, so who knows. Use it while you got it, because they will find a way to take it away from you. <coughs> um, no extra dice, but he's got two re-rolls. That's really all he's after, is re-rolls. Two sanity loss if he dies, if he fails, he's okay. Woof. Keeps treading water. All right, we got to get on our uh, la we got to get our last point here. We kind of keep quit uh, thinking around this hero or this ally. Two trophies to ignore lingering mythos effects. Alright. That's our last one. I think that's the last one. He's going to go ahead and do that. If he fails, it just puts a monster in play. Whisperer. Whisperer in the darkness. Use it and use it. Okay, well, we 
we got the first one. And we still got both of my special dice, even though that one's not going to have a terror token on it. Which means it's throw away, throw awayable. <laughs> oh come on! Give myself the best odds to do it. Oh no, that's Doom. Not to I got my symbols messed up. That was another Doom token. Oh, that sucks. That sucks, sucks, sucks. We need some eliminate Doom results. Alright, what do you got in your inventory? Not much. Not much at all. Still gotta do that. It's the only one that it's either win or lose. At least he's got back up here so he can dump a die if he needs to. Summoning a yellow die might get us one of these symbols, but it's not gonna get us one of the others. Let's get as many dice on the table as possible. Again, we got the first one, and then it, we have a wasted yellow die after that. Dang it! This doesn't help us. Shoot. Oh, shoot. What do we got here? I can oh, I can turn that yellow die to anything I want, except it's not what I want. The face that I need isn't on there. Oh, come on! Give me a terror! <sighs> oh, we got it! Pulled that out of my butt. Okay, that's six. Yep, that's all we needed, but we have five terrors! We finally discovered a hidden necropolis under the so-called bed to the building. Rather than the platform of each chamber we entered, as with the usual practices of such an expedition, we pressed on, eager to find the final burial chamber of Nephilim Car. When at last we reached the burial tomb, Dr. Pratt insisted that he should hold the shining of the things as he did. Reluctantly, I gave up the precious stone. As Pratt crossed the threshold into the burial chamber, the floor gave way beneath us. Plunging our hapless group into total darkness. Hmm. Where are we? Oh, no map here. Oh, this is going to be horrible. The floor beneath you is given away, plunging you into an undiscovered necropolis. We collect a total of ten Elder Signs, so we need four more to locate Nephron Ka's burial chamber. No common items can be used today, so we still need to deal with this BS. Okay. Well, luckily, we don't have a lot of common items anyway. Um, and his ability can let us summon one, so <laughs> we can get around it a little bit. Alright, two skulls. He's got his rerolls. I don't think we'll need them. But, because there's two skulls, I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh, he's got 12! Oh, that's a lot. That's great. He'll be able to burn stuff. Okay. Okay, well, we got this. And all we need is a skull. Gives us a little sanity, but we passed that challenge. And he got himself another reroll, which is what he wants. Okay, now we got a map to work with. Cool. Okay, let's go back to the base and see what we got here. Zero, four, and eight. Oof. Yeah, that's a steep number. That's the same. That's gone up a little bit too, because that's up to three now. So yeah, that's, we don't want to have to spend stuff to get things. Okay, that's another world portal in play, but if we fail it, an, another doom t counter comes out. Yellow glyphs are locked though, so we'll have to get on top of that. 
Just by entering here, we advance the clock. Ugh, that sucks. But that's also where we get our one of our tokens. But we need to make sure we have all of our dice to challenge that thing. Okay, the guy that has the two clues, this is where he wants to go. Again, this gets us a point. Seven's a big number, though. Again, we want to make sure we have all of our dice before we tackle these. Green dies. Oh, green glyph is locked. Okay, well, that affects everybody. That means we're only rolling five dice. So, okay. We're definitely going to go there. He doesn't have any... Uh, oh. He's not letting him do it. Well, if he can get a red die out there anyway. Tentacle and a health loss. I could put a skull. Well, I should do a skull. Skull, tentacle, one. So if we fail, we get a tentacle, we take a health loss, and we're done. But if we never roll a tentacle, at least I don't have to worry about the health loss. That's just a storage. Okay, one more chance. Chance. Didn't get it. Oh, that sucks. So instead, he takes a sanity loss. Puts a monster in play. Alright, Wilson, you're up. He has plus one to give you plus one sanity. He's got no dice. And he's got. tackle that at some point, but first we need to unlock this stupid green die. No assistance. Well, that blows. We're not going to get this done. This is going to, we're going to, this is, this is going to end in utter horror, utter shambles. have one, but I can't store it. No, nope, not going to waste that. Yeah, we're not going to get it. I'm just going to skip ahead and fail. Another terror loss. Uh, I understand why this game is so tough. Same deal. What does he have that can help be helpful? He's got the re-rolls. Okay, well, so also has a ton of trophies. I have a feeling he's going to be using quite a few of these right out the gate. Yeah, that was a horrible, whole horribleness. Scroll. Use your ability. Terror, though, right? I still need to make sure we try this. Yeah. Good. Blink, blink, blink. And I'm going to go ahead and use this because I do not want to take a chance of not rolling it again. Yeah, I rolled it again anyway. Okay. So we unlocked the green die. So now we're back to rolling six. Great. A midnight effect. Damn it. It's the midnight effect. Midnight, all investigators lose a trophy. Failure to compete, defeat this puts not only a monster in play, but adds a doom to the thing. So that's, that sucks. Entry advances the clock. Don't want to deal with that right now. We need to get this. Uh... I want to beat that, but 
first we have to get our yellow die unlocked. He's got a red die. He's got two sanity. He's going to lose another one there. He's only got three to start with. I really need to wait for this to be depleted and then I'll heal. Okay, we didn't roll a scroll. Killed the monster at least. I can store something. Don't really need to. No scroll. Ah, oh, crud. Throw a die away. I should store a three while it's here, but. God dang it! No scrolls! scroll great if we don't well bad stuff's gonna happen didn't roll scroll got no re-rolls at least didn't take an extra sanity loss now he took the sanity loss and put a doom this is not good this is the last fight here those but no spell items can be used today okay all of us gears there's a trophy again it's not the end of the world Gonna go ahead and use that this cat still has no items because of the still use the yellow glyphs. Well, we got our scroll, but we only got five, and we need six. That blows chunks. Got it. Whew. Okay. That unlocks that. clues. That's a good place for him. And the dreamlands. Even better. Two clues and a omen counter. Again, use it. Because you never know. It may get sucked out of your hand. Um, I can't use that because it's a spell, but he's got his rerolls. Oh, this is perfect for him. Gets us a point if we if we succeed. He's got a, a number of rerolls. We can also get a yellow die. Might as well throw that out there too, because yellow does have both of those symbols. Well, that wasn't too hard. Yay! One more point, and he got two more clues. He is the clue man. Ooh, Master Jamma. Now I don't know what to do. Um, he's looking for daggers. He wants the daggers. This is a prize. Well, we gotta get that. But just entering there kind of hoses us a little. I think that's what he's gonna have to go for, even though failure means we add another doom. Ooh, three. Oh. What has he got left for points? He's got four. Okay. 
just going to summon a red. Just going to summon a yellow. And because failure means he could die, I'm going to heal up. Okay. As long as I solve one of these, I don't have to take the terror effect. We did not get a scroll. We did not get a skull. We did get nine. Four. Or three, three, three. I'm going to use three dice anyway, so I might as well use the three regular dice. Advanced it one, but that's fine. Okay. So we need a total of six. We need those two symbols. This is good. This is good. Um, except I didn't get a number. I didn't get a three. Oh, crap. Wasting this to get a three. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. Okay, well, I don't have a choice. Um, we didn't, oh, we did get a skull. We got two scrolls. Why can't I store the scroll? Oh, man. If I fail at this after all of that... Come on. Give me a number. Give me a big number. Three or four. Three or four. Three or four. <sighs> RNG, don't fail me now. RNG. RNG. Um, that's good stuff. That's all good stuff. I restocked him up, too. Uh oh, another midnight effect. Which is happening right now. I can't even do anything to stop it. God dang it. Plus one doom. All investigators lose a sanity. No unique items, which are the daggers, can be used today. Glad I healed up some of our sanity. Lose a trophy. That's fine. Lose an ally. Ugh. sucks. Things are getting bad, guys. Things are getting very bad. We'll lose the other ally if we don't defeat that. Use the thing. Oh, you can use this for anybody. Well, use it for yourself. Get your sanity back up. Now he's got nothing. We're going to lose our other ally unless we defeat that, but it doesn't get us anything. sucks. Okay. Um, that really sucks. It doesn't do me any good to get six. I need, I need seven. Shoot. Exa I got exactly what I needed. that to get a four. Four and a three. Okay, I've got it. Okay, up to eight. I think we need to get to eleven, right? Yeah, it's eleven. So we need three more stars. <sighs> Man, I think he only needs to get to nine. Okay, he's the Mr. Clue. Mr. Super Clues. So he's probably going to go there. Um, or there. Loss of two health, put a monster in play. Entry advantage. 
advance is the clock, which just hit, so that's, I guess that's good. We'll go there. He's going to use this to gain a yellow die, because he's got a lot to burn. This is horrible. This is a lot of specific die faces, and he doesn't even have a red, but... He's got lots and lots of rerolls. We got the two scrolls and we got one of the terror symbols. So this one is almost beat. We just need another terror symbol. So we need that, 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 and that. Unfortunately, that's not going to get us a terror symbol. Shoot. Bunch of friggin' numbers. God dang it. Well. See, here's the thing. I could just beat this, get it done with using the three from here, because well, he can't get us a scroll. If that comes up a scroll, I'm going to go ahead and throw that on there too. Okay, so we got the two. We got the two. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Two terrors, two scrolls. So now all we have to do is roll one terror and a three. That's that's our. That was the best possible thing that could have come up. Although, since I have a storage, if one of these had come up terror, it would have been a little better. Got it. Wow. Good rolling, man. Okay. He's got another storage die. Okay, Monterey Jack. He's got lots, he's got rerolls, he's got, he can turn a die into a scroll, and he's got a red die. And does he have trophies? Yes, he's got enough to get a yellow trophy, uh, yellow die as well. Okay. So something that requires a scroll would be good. But entering here, we'll lose a trophy. He won't be able to roll a yellow die. That's the downside of that one. <sighs> Failure there is too expensive. I need a star. So this one's a star, but he doesn't require any scrolls. Failure would kill the guy off. Oh, that sucks. Somebody's going to be able to defeat this pretty easily. This is a pretty easy challenge. But because he's got the thing that can turn it into a scroll, I guess he's going to have to go here. Um, so he should use this now. <laughs> that way he has the yellow already in the bank. So entering here isn't going to cost him a trophy because he doesn't have a trophy to give. Okay. He's got, oh, that's right, we can't use unique items, so no red dice. Well, that's okay, he still has two re-rolls. It does make it a little harder to complete this, though. Definitely, he didn't roll a single damn scroll. Um, oh, the, the effect is also a red die. Oh, crap. All right, well, he just stepped in a big pile in this one. Great. So friggin' lootly great. Well, none of this is good for us. I'll just re-roll all of it. We got one scroll. It needs two. Ah, shoot. Needs two scrolls and a two. He's got still has one more re-roll. And if we get at least one scroll, I can store it. So, actually, I can store it on myself if we fail. Didn't get one. What a lousy blobbin' and blobbin' blobbin' blob. Two scrolls. Come on now. Two scrolls. There we go. One. That was our last reroll, guys. Okay, we need a scroll and a two. Got it. Okay. Back in control of this situation. We're up to 10. 
I had often wondered why the gem was known as the Shrine of the Feast of Evil. And it was a day it was no more lustrous than any other gem stone, but in the dark it shone like fire. As we returned so close, seeing Dr. Bradley, it was the light of the gem that drew us in, and by its glare we witnessed the impossible. Bradley stood over the sarcophagus of Nephilim Car, the trapezo hedron in his hands. He held the gem aloft and screamed in some heathen tongue, not a Egyptian of that I'm certain. The darkness gathered and the gem fled until it seemed as if it was all it could be seen. And in seeing, we saw beyond it and through it into all of space and time. Suddenly, the ritual ended. Dr. Cranley's lifeless body lay before me and the sarcophagus stood open. Oh no! We're so close. This is it, guys. This is the last point. Uh-oh. Are we ready for this? Oh no, I didn't know this was coming. I've never gotten this far. He's got nothing. are their followers so we can't even use his abilities and his is uh, turning yellow into whatever he needs which does not include terror because there's no yellow there's no terror or yellow face well since we rolled the skull one third of the way now we need two scrolls two terrors and we have one extra die this is not good. Oh, we got one scroll. I'm gonna throw a die away. Put that in storage. Scroll and two terrors. Great, we got the one we didn't need right now. Oh, this blows, this blows, this blows, this blows. We can't win. That's up to the eight. Oh no! He's going to kill us off in a hurry. Rolling a terror symbol puts a, a doom. He's going to beat us one way or the other. If that doom gets any worse, we're, we're dead. Okay, now he's Mr. Reroll. So he's got, he's got some offsets here. He's also got a ton of trophies. This is our best chance. Our absolute best chance is to do this right now. We got a storage. We got another storage. And I would put the scroll away too, but this at least guarantees one, that's going to be beaten no matter what I roll. Okay, we'll take that. <sighs> one scroll. We got three. We got a shootload of re rolls. So I'm going to use these up. his special ability lets a one time use of re-rolling them and then I'm going to use another re-roll we're not going to get off of this I'm going to keep using these until all of these come up scrolls oh that's not a one time use oh that's a, that's an exploit I'm going to take advantage of then he's got so many re-rolls I'm going to use another one up we got four more four more basically means eight more I have eight re-rolls here gonna come up scrolls eventually all we needs one all we needs one I wish it was a red die because then there's a chance to get a wild it increases our odds this is all about playing the odds oh is that it is that it Was a thousand voices. His body 
You can't see me, but my arms are in the air like I'm I just won like a marathon. <laughs> oh no, it's not over yet. Oh shoot. Okay, the Dark Pharaoh was only one of his many avatars. The evil that stood before a bloated, twisted, horrific new form. The black demon has a unique lingering effect. Common items are not used, are not locked, are locked during this battle, which doesn't affect us a whole lot. And we've been dealing with that the whole game, and we haven't had very many common items. Ah, oh, that was our best chance. I can't believe this. We are so close. anybody and investigators yes so I can use that how are these guys for stamina oh yeah let's use that to heal up him just using some items up oh this is so this feels like one of the, was it the third or fourth one we faced that it came down to something like this where I felt like I'd won it and then it was kind of taken out of underneath our feet. Oh, he's got one storage and he's got one ability to turn something to a scroll, so that's a good effect. He doesn't have any, he doesn't have enough those, so he can't get a yellow die. Oh. I don't know what the bad effect is if we get beat by this guy. I see it coming here. Hell, wind, titan blur, black wings, Yog sothoth save me, the three lob burning eye. You may fail this adventure after, you may fail this adventure after discarding a glyph. Terror. Oh, if a terror comes up, we fail. wouldn't matter anyway if we put another terror on there we're going to lose too so losing to this guy loses the game for us rolling a terror that we can't place loses the game for us but if we beat him that star will get us a victory so we're not going to get anybody else this is it this is him he's it it's all on Monterey Jack scroll but 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 yeah we need to we need to store this skull and then I'm going to use this to turn this into a scroll I like those big numbers that I feel up I feel the dice I feel them in my hand they're going to get us what we need all we need is for, this could be a wild so there's a wild or a terror effect and one more terror effect that's all we need we don't want one terror effect though because one terror effect is very very bad I'd, but I'd have to store it That's how close we were, guys. That's how close we were. If I had a little more control of our doom. I thought we won. Beat the stupid mummy. My arms were in the air. And we lose. Oh, that's so deflating. I was so happy to go for such a high. Ah, from such a high. Oh, oh. That's the best I've ever done on that. I've never gotten that that close. I've never gotten that close before. I've never faced the demon at the end. I think I may have once. I've played this, I don't know how many times, maybe three or four times. 
and there's been times I didn't even get to the final encounter when I died out in the desert but I have faced the mummy before but I failed I, I never beat him before oh. oh that's so defeating that's just so defeating well that is my final run of um, Elder Sign Omens hope you guys have enjoyed these we've only one I think one on camera <laughs> I have a couple I, I did win one game off camera but that doesn't count oh wow I don't know I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do something different I'm gonna have to play another game to wash this taste out of my mouth uh. 